Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Depths of Contamination, which is a horror game where your diver has been tasked to explore an underwater mill, and at some point something may or may not go wrong. In the aftermath of a devastating environmental catastrophe, suspicions arise regarding a flooded mill on the outskirts of a small town. Rumors suggest that the hazardous chemicals were mishandled within the mill, potentially posing a significant threat to the surrounding ecosystem. Unable to determine the truth due to conflicting water sample results, the authorities make a crucial decision to dispatch a professional diver to investigate the submerged mill and uncover any signs of dangerous materials. Thanks guys, just send me in here, yeah, that's, that's great. Wait, I have limited auction? Ooh, that's not good. Left or uh, go right. Right is always right until you have to make a U turn and re establish yourself so you're still going right. We're still on course, so it's still good. Cans, barrels. Looks like a uh, tool area. This is essentially just a normal room, but underwater. open. No. We gotta go down. Uh, go this way. this way. Well, I'm gonna go down more down these stairs. Huh. This really is just a uh, diving game, huh? Check out in the air. I think we gotta go on this. Um, what is that? It looks like literally a giant piece of poo. Ooh. This way. Go on down. Here we got squeeze for this 
not so nice looking gap. If I can. Turn that. That did something. By the way, my oxygen level looks a little bit different. I actually had to swim all the way back here. Um, I made a terrible mistake of hitting the escape key, which shut down the whole game. <laughs> had to restart it. Sometimes escape keys pause, sometimes it opens up a menu to adjust your graphics. In this case, I've seen this happen before. Escape key has shut down the game. I don't like going into like a big empty room like this with like a lot of darkness. It's like a bad time. See where they're fitting in here. Pretty tight. No. Hmm. Hmm. On this one, this is probably the one we need. You, you got what I need. I have a bad feeling about this place. Bad feeling. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I thought we were gonna die, but we did, so, I mean, I'm satisfied with that. This is a dead end. Weird. We know, here we go. Let's uh, see where I am right now. Go in here. Oxygen getting low. Ish. So far, so good. And we're gonna go deep down even further. Great. So I love a one-way trip. Radiation detector I must be getting close. Oh, that's this. That's absolutely swell. Yeah, I think you got radiation. I think this place is contaminated. Oh god. So I guess that's it for depths of contamination. Um a deep water game, there's a few of those out there now, and I actually do tend to always like them usually. Uh, but they all they all do kind of have a similar format, which is for free indie games. So you know it's that's to be expected sometimes. And I call that format slow build up, and then something comes out and eats you. That seems to be a trend with these types of games. And I think that that in itself isn't bad. It's how you fill up the in between. Now this one had a little bit of atmosphere here and there, um, but your yeah, your biggest issue probably is your environments are kind of simple. They don't necessarily look like they're water like there is a decent water filter but uh your environments essentially look like just a place so i feel like you need some more evidence like yeah we're underwater like something to kind of show like this world's a little bit different that's kind of like lived in with aquatic 
life in a way. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching play Death's Contamination. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.